large councilwoman Jennifer Van Branken wants to freeze a controversial brew pub project and subject it to public comment. Chris Joseph reports that she's filed two resolutions to get that done at the next council meeting. Jefferson Parish government and economic leaders broke ground on a new brew pub project in the heart of Gretna last Friday. At-large councilwoman Jennifer Van Branken wasn't there and wants the parish to pump the brakes. We have a deal structured now that is abysmal. That deal came under intense scrutiny after the parish inspector general released a 35 page letter that questioned the project's transparency and benefits. It explained how 10.3 million taxpayer dollars would go to the economic development nonprofit Jefferson Facilities Inc or JFI to build a brew pub for Port Orleans Brewing. The parish would own the building but would get no sales tax nor rent from the business. The council has approved the project several times as it's evolved with Van Branken's support. After the letter, she challenged the merits of the project, wanting to know more about the final cost. Do you know how much this project is going to cost? Uh, I think in the, the approximately, I don't remember the figures exactly, a little over $9 million to build the building. Can you sit here and say right now that the money allocated by the parish is going to be the extent of the money needed, that JFI will not need to return to the parish taxpayers and ask for more money for this project? I, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't think so. Everything seems to be okay. I don't know why we would, but I mean, I, I can't predict 100% of the future, so I can't give you a guarantee of that. It's been presented in tiny little pieces. It's really obscured from the council and the public, the true scale and scope and cost of this project. We have to err on the side of transparency and we have to give people an opportunity to see what the plan is and give us their thoughts. Van Branken filed two resolutions in response. The first would freeze that $10.3 million of taxpayer money for the project for 45 days, with the exception of $50,000 for minor expenses. The second calls for a public presentation and public comments on the deal in November. It requests JFI and others give more specifics on the plan. Do you think you have the votes for these resolutions? You know, I'm always comfortable standing alone if I'm standing for the right thing. Most other council members either didn't respond or weren't available for comment. Councilman Hans Logerberg says he's researching the motions and questioned the political motivation of the letter. Meanwhile, Councilman Marion Edwards addressed a proposed pause back in September. What do you mean a pause? We're, we're just proceeding to get this to the point where we could sign a contract and there will be a lot more investigation done before that if we get to that to that final point. The next parish council meeting is scheduled for October 16th. Now, if the resolutions are passed, the presentations would come at the November 6th parish council meeting. I reached out to JFI leaders for comment, but have not heard back. Back to you.